Hello, my jet setting peeps. When you visit Venice, you are going to get lost. It is not a question of if, or even a question of when. It's more like how often, how often am I going to get lost? How many times an hour? That can sound a little daunting. I understand that, but the good news is I have some tips to help you navigate. Some are fairly obvious, but a lot are secrets even the locals have to use. So here is the first of several tips on how to unlose yourself in Venice. Okay, right now we're at the uh, Rialto Bridge by the water. Here's your first tip. Think fish, not the fish in the water, uh, the fish that is the island of Venice. When you look at a map of the island of Venice, check it out. You'll see that it's shaped like a fish. The fish's mouth is pointed west, the tail is pointed east. And if you look closely, you're going to see that the Grand Canal itself winds through the island like a backwards S. So basically, the most important tip is get a map, get familiar with the fact that Venice is shaped like a fish, and you'll be back at your hotel or your favorite restaurant in no time. So we're here on the Rialto Bridge looking west. And here's the thing. If you're a smart traveler, you're going to enjoy getting lost in Venice because you realize that it is an island and it's not a very big island. Eventually, you're just going to hit a familiar landmark. But I get it. It can be a little stressy to get lost, especially if you've had a few cocktails late at night. But fret not. Here is another tip on how to unlose yourself in Venice. Do not rely on your smartphone. Your smartphone in Venice can be very, very dumb. The signal gets lost. I mean, you're going through all these little alleyways, these the cale, um, so you're gonna get rerouted in bizarre directions for no explicable reason. If you find yourself wandering aimlessly, here's my bit of advice. Find a spot, sit down, take a breath, order a drink, ask the bartender what the Wi-Fi password is, what Wi-Fi password is, and then once you get it, just, you know, look at the Google map, look at the directions, kind of familiarize yourself with where you are. It's not the easiest way of getting around, especially if it's late at night, but it's a lot better than fumbling with your flashlight while you're trying to hold a map when you're drunk. So again, just chill. Just go to a place, sit down, kind of familiarize yourself with where you are, get some context, and that's the way you're going to unlose yourself in Venice. So you need to know that the island is actually divided into neighborhoods. They're called sestieri. There are six neighborhoods total. Canareggio, Santa Croce, San Polo, San Marco, Castello, and Dorsodoro. When you arrive, you got to make sure you know which sestieri you're staying in. And then maybe when you're on the flight or maybe when you're on the train or your hotel or whatever, during some downtime, try to familiarize yourself with some of the main attractions in the sestieri that you're staying in. That way, if you get lost, you can just use your map and the landmarks as your guide home. That's actually, it sounds so simple, but sometimes when you're here in Venice, it can be very confusing with all the little alleyways. Again, just look for the landmarks in your neighborhood. All right, so probably the most brilliant invention of the Venetians, not, well, not really, but I mean, it's pretty smart, <laughs> are these signs. Per Rialto, Per San Marco, this one over here. Oftentimes you're going to see them, they're yellow, these are white, I'm not really sure why, but these signs direct you to the Rialto Bridge or San, San Marco, St. Mark's Square. Those are two, in Venice, those are the two like main hubs. Um, they're maybe about like an eight minute walk from each other, but that's really, I think where most tourists come and sort of hover around, it's the tourist central area. So it's, I feel like it's a little bit, um, it just helps people a little bit to kind of get their bearings. If you know you're in San Marco, um, you know kind of where everything is and you probably have gone back and forth to your hotel a couple times um, or the Rialto Bridge, the same thing. Again, big tourist hotspots, big hubs, kind of like the Grand Central Station and Penn Station of New York City. That's what, that's what these two spots are like. And that is your final tip on how to unlose yourself in Venice.